Hey everybody, I was wanting to show you how to properly how to properly adjust a governor on a small Briggs and Stratton engine um, with a mechanical governor. Um, all you gotta have on this particular model I had to take my fuel tank off, so you'll have to do that or whatever to get to the governor. But uh, to, to adjust the governor all you need is a three eight cents wrench and a three sixteenths inch socket um, this right here's the nut that you would loosen up with your 3 8 wrench and here's the, sh the governor shaft that you uh, would move with this 3 16 socket what you do is you gotta have it in the fully your throttle in the fully open position and the way you know it's fully opened on your throttle is you keep this right here is your idler screw right there that small screw on your throttle so if you got it backed up on the idler screw like this it's on the idler screw so that means the throttles closed we don't want it closed we got to have it fully open so we go the other way till it stops this right here is fully open now so you got this in fully open but what I want to show you is when I'm putting this thing in fully open position, here it's closed, here it's open. You see my this is my governor arm. Is it going clockwise or counterclockwise when I put it in the open position? Here's the open position. It's going counterclockwise, the arm is. Most a lot of governors go clockwise when it's going in the open position. But on mine it's going counterclockwise so that's the way you turn the shaft you turn it counterclockwise not clockwise uh, it's just whatever way the governor arm is going when you go in the open position that's the way the shaft goes when you turn it so all you do is you loosen this up got it fully opened and turn it till it stops I'm going counterclockwise and it's stopping you don't got to force it or nothing just turn it till it stops like that counterclockwise and then um, tighten this nut up real good and tight because you don't want it to move that's what if you don't have this good and tight, it's going to go out of adjustment again. And it doesn't take much to get it out. I mean, it can be a hair, and it can go out of adjustment. And um, what's going on with the engine? It's over revving. It's like it's like it's when this thing cuts on it's supposed to adjust the throttle to to whatever my throttle is here and it's not it's just staying wide open the engine just revving wide open because the governor's not moving this throttle like it's supposed to it's just staying wide open it's not moving it so once I adjust this governor it's going to move this throttle back and keep the engine at whatever I want whatever I, if I've got this on full throttle then it's going to keep the engine on full throttle. If I got it down here or low or whatever, it's going to keep the in, it's going to move this throttle to whatever I want it to be. So um, hope this works for you. A lot of these other YouTube things are showing the governors that go clockwise. So you turn this clockwise, and then on this case. I go counterclockwise because my governor arm is going counterclockwise. That's the most important thing about this video. So I hope it works for you. Thanks.